All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol HTBX, Heat Biologics Inc. And before I jump into this chart, I do want to state some things. For those of you for the first time here on my channel, welcome to Invest for Tomorrow, where we look at charts, we look at certain cues for the next following day, and obviously the next trading days as well. Sometimes it can work for more than one day, but I like to post daily videos. So if you feel encouraged and inclined to subscribe, I advise you to because I will be posting daily videos and don't forget to click the bell so you can get notified when I post it so you don't miss a single update that I do. And for all my subscribers, I want to say thank you to you guys for your support, your feedback, and engaging in conversation with one another, helping each other out with any questions other investors and viewers have about a company or about the chart. I really, really encourage that and appreciate that from you all. Don't forget to share this with your friends and community. And I hope you guys learn something new after watching this video. So there was a very bearish run here. Bulls try to reappear and the bearish trend is happening again. So there's some key things to pay close attention to here for the following week. Heat Biologics is obviously part of the vaccines and um, it's part of that whole health sector that is going on right now. And they're trying to create, you know, their vaccine and so forth. And as we can see here on July 29th, this good news, um, it's the first headline. I don't usually use these headlines and stuff. I like to just focus on charts, no emotions, none of that, um, you know, loud noise all around, you know, just focusing on the charts and centering in. But this right here shows that he biologic says COVID-19 vaccine demonstrates immunogenicity. Um, proof of concept and preclinical studies. So they're still on their way of growing, but there's some potential here, right? So that's something to consider. But the stock right now, based off an investor's point of view, forget about news and like I said, all the loud noise, it is below the 50-day moving average. And the 50-day moving average is 228. So I'd write that down and that's something very important to pay close attention to. The first resistance level for this to work its way towards the 50 day moving average is 224. If it could be broken through and used as support, obviously the bulls can be well on their way to break through the 50 day moving average and continue a bullish run. And as you can see too here, where it had a bullish run from down here all the way up this way, going on to the 30th was the date of that news, which was the 29th. So you can see how news does have an impact, especially on these vaccine companies and since then it's just leveled off and i'm not saying that the potential is not there i'm not saying that this has been completely destroyed and so forth but the lowest point within the last couple of days is 187 so that's something that i would write down it has nothing to do with the zoomed in focus that i'm doing right now for monday but long term throughout the rest of the days and weeks 187 if that gets cut through that's going to go to newer lows and a much more bearish route. And I'd also pay attention to it because the bulls can take advantage of that price and bring it back up. Back to this part of this section of the chart. It closed out at 217. The resistance level for bulls, again, is 224. Needs to be tested, used as support to work its way to newer highs. On the other hand, if this continues a bearish trend and stays below the 50-day moving average and gets pulled further away from the 50 day moving average, right? It will be 204, the support level. If that support level is broken through, I'm not saying that the bears completely destroyed the chart and that they are full control because again, the bulls can reappear down here in this area and bring this one back up. But 204 is the key indicator of the bears gaining control and bringing this to newer lows. I hope you guys learned something new, found this informative and We'll have to pay close attention to how this one plays out on Monday and throughout the week. And as always, if you learn something new, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Double check if you hit the bell if you've already subscribed. And if you're a prospective subscriber, do not forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I post my videos. You won't miss a single video. And at the end of this video, there's going to be a video on Clorox. I would love to share that with you guys. Earnings is tomorrow. And this stock, just based off of how the chart looks, there's some potential there as well. So check it out so that you guys don't miss out on that information. Thank you guys for watching and let's make some money.